Mm, mm, mm. It breaks my heart, man. Uh, they they didn't believe in him. They really didn't. They they played themselves. I don't know why they hated on this dude the way that they did. Uh, they could have just been over here embracing the love for him, more and more love. But Jiro said, hey, you either win with us or you're going to watch us win. They didn't believe, but Jiro did, and now he got his interview. Team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And in this video, Greg Roman said, look, y'all, y'all, I know some of y'all thought I was going to fall off. Some of y'all thought that I, I was done. Some of y'all thought it was a wrap. But Jiro said, nope. And in fact, Jiro, he getting an interview. Former Ravens offensive coordinator. Well, that was obviously his most recent job. But he's literally getting an interview right down the block. Well, right down the beltway. But y'all know what I mean. He, he, he's getting an interview right down the street. Right down the street. Jiro still going to be able to drive past the Ravens facility and what? Now wave to, hey, guys, hey, what's going on? Hey, Craig. So it, he's going to be that close. I mean, he got to do a little driving. But you get what I mean. And I'm happy for him. I'm happy for him because whenever you you leave one opportunity uh, and the next opportunity that presents itself to you, it and, and obviously it's just an interview, but an interview is where it starts. That's the beginning. And this could lead to something serious. So we'll see how it goes. But if, if you have another opportunity that's right in front of you, and it's literally like right in front of you because – and especially as a football player, at, at, well, not a football player, but a football player, football coach, especially if you're in the league, you know the, these guys, they get hired, they get fired, they got to move across the country, they got to move here, there, everywhere, and they got families too. They got families. So with Giro, if he could get this opportunity with the Washington football team, with the commanders, is, yeah, the commanders, oh, man, the Washington football team was two years ago. Anyway, if he can get this opportunity with Washington, then he ain't even got to move. He ain't even got to move, man. So look at him. Right, hey, I'm rooting for you, Giro. I really am. But anyway, um, Greg Roman, uh, the, the, the Washington Commanders, they are getting busy um, because they scheduled an interview with Greg Roman that's supposed to happen tomorrow on Tuesday. Now, um, they are also trying to schedule an interview with uh, Eric Bieniemy. Um, but Eric Bieniemy, who so many people always say, oh, he's not a part of KC's offense, even though he's an offensive coordinator, but he's not a part of KC's offense. It's only Andy Reid doing everything. Eric Bieniemy, who is going to be attending the Chiefs Super Bowl parade, which they don't know when they're having it yet, but he's going to be there since he's a part of the team. I mean, he is an offensive coordinator, even though you know, people don't want to give him credit. But anyway, we talked about that earlier. Um, with him, uh, they don't know when they're going to be able to schedule that interview yet. And now I'm assuming that this would be an in-person interview uh, since they trying to really make it happen. Because, I mean, you got Zoom, you got FaceTime, you got all that stuff. So, but I, I'm assuming that they want to speak to him in person. And Eric B. Enemy probably like, look, I ain't trying to fly from KC to, to Washington, whether you go to Dulles, whether you go to BWI, whatever floats your boat. Um, what's the other airport up there? It's Dulles, BW, BW, BWI, the best one. But it's BWI, Dulles, and um, oh, is it Ray? I think it's Reagan. Yeah, I, I think it is Reagan. But anyway, he like he ain't trying to go back and forth. Let, let me have my parade. Let me chill for a little bit. Then then I come I come talk to y'all in a little bit. So this is why Giro got to take this opportunity. He got to make the most of this opportunity. Giro need to go over there and wow them, wow Washington. Make this the best interview that you ever had. And the Washington can look at you and they could be like, whoa, we we got personal experience seeing your Ravens offense against us because they played the commanders last year. Right. I think it was last year. Or was it the year before last? I don't even remember, but it, it, it was over the past couple of years. So Washington, they, they, they got an up close and personal view. But anyway, um, with their quarterback situation. Now, see, I wonder, like, there's, there's, there's been a lot of talk, especially these, these two candidates. There's been so much talk with these two candidates for years, Greg Roman and Eric Bieniemy. There's been so much talk around them as offensive coordinators. Um, but th neither one of the two, even though they've had success with some of their offenses, uh, obviously Eric Bieniemy more consistently, Giro. Anyway, um, they've had some success with their offenses, but they ain't gotten head coaches jobs. Neither one of the two. 
so th these are two interesting candidates going for the same position right now. And I would hope that this would just be a stepping stone for both of them, for, for both Eric B. Enemy and for Greg Roman. So I, I, I would like I would be very interested to see Greg Roman as a head coach somewhere. And if he could go get into Washington while they going through this transition period, if he can go there, help turn the offense around. I mean, whoever their running backs are, I don't know. I don't know. Do they still got Antonio Gibson? I don't even remember. But whoever their running backs are, you know they happy right now. They they like looking. They like yes. Oh hey, bring your Giro. Whoever their tight ends are, they look and they like yes, bring your Giro. Terry McLaurin. Dawson, uh, they not happy about this one. Ooh, they not happy about this one. But hey, we, we, we'll see, man. We we gonna see. Um, so Sam Howell, uh, Taylor Heineke, whoever that quarterback gonna be, they don't know. They 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 really don't know. Um, but again, with them getting ready to get sold, if G Row can come in there, and especially with their first year under new ownership, if he can come in there and build positive consistency with their offense. And again, he got young quarterbacks, so this is what they thrive. Again, running game going to be strong. Tight ends going to feast. Wide receivers, they're going to be a little hungry. They're going to be a little hungry, but yeah. So, oh, and make sure you got a quarterback that can move too. Okay, you know, G Giro going to run that quarterback. Make sure, make sure whether it's Heineke, whether it's – Sam, whoever, if they draft somebody, if they sign somebody, make sure that quarterback can run because, yeah, yeah, they're they going to need it. Um, but, yeah, Giro said, look, y'all doubted me, but I'm still here, baby. I'm still here, and I'm starting to make my rounds. And this is the first, at least public interview, that I'm hearing about with Giro. I haven't heard anything else. The last interview that I remember him having was the one with Stanford, and I really thought that that was going to be a done deal. I really did. They were saying he was emerging as a top candidate and whatnot. And I thought, oh, oh, Giro about to leave. He about to go to Stanford, be a head coach. Oh, wow. But nope. Didn't end up having. I think, who got it? Jason Garrett, I think. I forgot. But anyway, congrats to Giro on his interview. Um, hopefully, this is the first and the last because that will mean that Giro got it. Because I almost feel like Washington trolling a little bit. Because Washington, like, I'm, I'm I'm sitting here waiting on the notification that the report like oh Ravens have scheduled an interview with Eric B. Enemy. I ain't seen nothing yet. They ain't, ain't seen nothing yet. Um, so still waiting. But uh, Washington was like, you know what, we gonna we gonna try to schedule Eric B. Enemy. But on top of that, you know what, Let, let's let's mess with these Ravens a little bit. Let's mess with them. Let's mess with these locals a little bit. Bring in Greg Roman. Bring him in. But no, I, I do uh. I do hope it works out because I just after everything that we saw with the Ravens, and I know it wasn't just Greg Roman. Greg Roman was a big scapegoat and a lot of what Ravens had going on. But anyway, another conversation for another day. Uh, but I would love to see him somewhere else just to see how things go, just to see how they operate how his offense operates. And I mean, I mean, we've seen it with San Fran, with Buffalo, and with Baltimore, but I, I'd just like to see it one more time after he uh, came and went to Baltimore. I'd like to see it afterwards. So anyway, I love y'all so much. I appreciate y'all very much. And y'all just keep being great people, man. I really seriously do love y'all and appreciate everything that y'all do. Team, keep it clean like Greg Roman was, but not for long. We out.